Hi there, we're the Nerd Couple, I am husband, this is wife. Heyo. Her hand, if you join us for the first time, we buy, sell, collect, retro, nerdy, gamey bits, etc. Charity shop haul time. Yay. Um, we actually did really well in terms of the fact that where we live, there are four whole charity shops, and yeah. we've got something in all of them. <laughs> for once. And all of them were good. Yeah, we often, we, most of the time we go around there, I don't know, two, three times a week, and find nothing. Maybe one thing in one of them, mm. but literally four things, or quite a lot in four out of four. Yeah. Which is very handy as we need money because our cat decided to injure itself and we need money for vet bills. <laughs> Vets are expensive. Mm. Um, so this is pretty much all for sale stuff, um, apart from a random comic that I bought quite a while ago, but I just thought I'd share because I don't really know what to do with it. Yeah. Best value thing in terms of easy selling. Spy Kids Trilogy, £2 on Blu-ray. I can get £11 for this at CEX. Or 16 in a voucher if I wanted, but they sold us for £25. Yeah. I love you when you didn't even know there were two or three. There's like five of these yeah. bastards. <laughs> but, um, this was just randomly in the... This is a charity shop where it's just like £2 a box set. So like that was the same price as two Kingsman DVDs. Mm. It's stupid. Right. Very happy. In a charity shop where there used to be five for a pound, they're now just a pound each. But I can get two or four for this. Um, in excess, Live Baby Live. Whoa. It's not an Australian one, that's just a sticker. I don't know why that's... There seem to be a few random Australian ones in there for some reason. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not meant to have a second disc. I hope it's not meant to have a second disc. It doesn't say it is at CEX, so it's going to CEX. <laughs> Phil Collins, Serious Hits Live. Mm. Uh, they're 10 for a pound in here. However, they only ever have like 40 DVDs at once. Yeah. And most of the time they're crap. But we saw this and an import of The Little Mermaid. Yep. That does know it has a CEX sticker on it. It clearly didn't come from CEX. The fact that this is a... a Ameri no, it's Region 2. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I mean, maybe it was part of a box set. No, I thought it was American. No, I have no idea. Hang on, uh, languages. No, no idea. <laughs> but basically, they charge you 10p each. Yeah. And either way, it's going to go and sit with my Little Mermaid collection. I got this because you could get 90p at CEX, which might seem pathetic, but we paid 10p. The cheapest one on eBay is £13. Wow. This will be going on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Mermaid collection. And then just sort of some random fodder. Brand new Justice League for 50p, just purely for the DC collection. We yeah. don't have it. It's not as bad as everyone says. No. It's not amazing, but it's certainly not that bad. And then five for a pound. There was something we sold straight away, but that was a week and a half ago, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was some old thing. It was some, yeah, we got like one pound fifty yeah. straight away for it. So we sort of got our money back and then got these for free. The Silence of the Lambs. Yay. Hannibal Rising. And Manhunter. Yay. And then Deep Blue Sea 2. <laughs> um... Yeah, we've already got Hannibal, so it was just like, oh, we could get this, we could get pretty much the whole not very good set of films. I'm really surprised we didn't already have Silence. I thought of the we Lambs. did, but I, I don't know. We haven't looked. But eh, eh, eh. Uh, yeah, yep. A PlayStation trophy glass thing cup thing. Yeah, this had like a um, a thing wrapped around it where obviously a price had been, but um, wasn't there anymore. So <laughs> she just said a pound. Yep, fair enough. Cheapest buy it now on eBay is thirty plus postage. So guess where it's going? And even the I know it was like some people go like you have to check the sold listings. The cheapest sold listing was twenty plus postage. Yeah, or new thirty. So I'm guessing somewhere between. I mean, it's quite cool. I wouldn't mind keeping it, but I we are more of Xbox people mm. nowadays. And plus we have these signs things. <laughs> plus if I can get £30 spending a pound, I'm going to do that. Just a couple of CDs quickly. Meatloaf. This is for me, if you can tell. 50p, single. Yeah. And Theory of a Dead Man. So the opposite very, ends of rock music. Very random. But this was back when I... If you might hate my taste in music. I really liked Theory of a Dead Man back then. I like this sort of... I call it... It's grunge-y. And I loved Fahrenheit, which is where I heard Theory of a Dead Man for the first time. 
I thought this might be worth something because I we you sort of see them modern the CDs, which are terrible. Just to say, I don't mind. I don't want the new stuff quite a lot, but this one I've never seen ever for sale. Literally, like outside of like fifteen pound in HMV. That's cool. Loads of toys now. <laughs> oh, and quickly, I got oh, just yep. Yeah. Yeah. You want just show Harley Quinn comic. This was in Smiths randomly for two ninety nine. I thought, so it's got Harley Quinn stuff. I thought that'll make a cool poster. Yeah, we're going to cut it up. We're going to cut it up. I'm sorry, comic book nerds, but we collect Harley stuff. Yep. It's a load of nice Harley Quinn posters. <laughs> right. Uh, might as well do this. Random random Barbie doll. Got a... I think it's a Barbie in India. I think there's... Go on. No, no, it's actually staying on now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, her head came <laughs> off when the woman went to take her out the thing. Yeah, her head's not the best, but apparently there's like... It seems three, quite a rare yeah, one from what we've looked up. three or four different variants of this doll, but we think that this one is possibly one of the rarer ones. So everyone we've seen, the Barbie and India ones are either different colours or they're wearing this sash, but they've uh, got black hair. Yeah. This is this is proper brunette hair. Mm. It comes out a bit red on camera. But... Yeah, and we've managed to find two or three of this one, and from what we've seen price-wise, it's around 60, 70 quid. So... Yeah. Didn't realize it was that much. Yeah, I've seen a couple. For a pound, by the way. Not too bad. I'll do this. Just say like, that is a bag of Pokemon. We'll go through in a second. Yes, this is apparently Ryan Giggs. That's horrible. If I don't pay attention to football in the slightest anymore, but I did in the 90s, so I did know this was Ryan Giggs. Um, quick bit of eBay, eBay searching at the time. I saw this was about £17 on eBay. Since buying it, I've seen one for about 13 But either way, it was a pound. So, it weighs nothing. Even it's like it's oh, plas- hollow plastic. Yeah, um, I'm very tempted to give it to my family who support Chelsea and Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's horrible. very dirty as well. Yeah, he's got um, a poo stain on him. I said that's way too. That's way too much personality for Ryan Giggs. <laughs> I'll take. I'm sure that'll get a dislike from from Ars- from Man U fans. Um. A bag of Pokemon. Quick story. These were. Oh, you can see, like, £2.50 times 10. There was loads of bags of these. Um, but there was, like, two Pokemon figures. There was, um, what, a good 10 bags, yeah. 15 bags? But there was, like, two figures roughly per bag that we wanted. And we and as we're nice to the people in there, it was like, do you mind if we sort of take some out of the bags and what happens? She was like, yeah, go for it. And she, trust, she didn't even watch us do it. She trusted yeah. us to count it. We even came back with, like, there's two extra because I don't think they add up to the right amount in the oh. other bags. So we got... Oh, should I just pour? Yeah, pour away. Well, I say eight Pokemon, and I'll just quickly show you. Sonics and... I say Sonics. I can't remember, is it... SBO. SBO, is that Mighty? My, uh, no. That's uh, um, Charmy. Charmy. Charmy B. Yeah, I don't really know. They, they, I mean, they look very, um... Five Nights of Freddy. It's yeah. got... I don't that I'm even on camera, I've been paying attention, I haven't actually looked at these yet. Um and then you got basically a load yeah, of army Pokemon. These are like they're like they've got They're um finger ones, you put them on your finger. You can finger them. Yeah, finger the Pokemon. There's blue bloke. There's Piplup, my favourite. Golem. Bidoof. There's a massive bit of dust. <laughs> Bidoof has got massive dust on his ass. P- oh. Pigeon bloke. I really can't remember the name of that one. Piggyon. No, I don't know. Faulty Towels reference there. Yeah. That one? A very dirty. <laughs> with, with, rose budding. Yeah. If you know what that is, well done, internet. Oh, no. Google it. Don't, don't Google it. Don't do it. A really angry looking bat thing. Zubat. Or Golbat. Can't remember. Jeff. Something bat. Jeff bat. Right, you? Yeah. One I know you, one. One you know. I know one. Well done. And a bunny. And a... The bunny. Chocolate bunny. Bunny bunny. It generally looks like he's edible. He's a bunny. I don't know what these are worth. I don't know if you're actually going to sell them or not. I don't, need, I don't know what I'm going to do with these either. Yeah. But for 25p, there was a couple of Pokemon you didn't get as well. Yeah, but... sort of a couple of Pokemon that I didn't really give a damn about. Pretty much every other... There was about eight or ten bags still there when we went back last time. So yeah. they're obviously not great there. Eh. What's in your bag? When did you put it here? Why are we here? Anyway. Yeah. Put it over. Yeah. Oui. 
Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Yep. And hope we can get rid of stuff that's all the Yes. Um, au revoir, people. Goodbye.